Many of us are referring to this legislation as the Corrupt Politicians Act because it would do. Senator Schumer talked about politicians picking their constituents. That's what this legislation does. This legislation is designed to ensure that Democrats never lose another election. This legislation would register millions of illegal aliens to vote. It is intended to do that. It is intended to do that because Democrats have made the decision that millions of illegal aliens voting are likely to vote for Democrats. This would register vast numbers of criminals and felons to vote because Democrats have made the decisions that criminals and felons are likely to vote for Democrats. This legislation strikes down virtually every voter integrity law adopted at the state level. Voter ID laws. Over 70% of Americans support voter ID laws. By the way, over 60% of African Americans in this country support voter ID <laughs> laws. 29 states have voter ID laws on the books. What does this legislation do? Strikes them all down. It says it's illegal for any state to have a voter ID law. Ballot harvesting, 31 states prohibit ballot harvesting. Why? Because it is a corrupt practice where p paid operatives handle the ballots of someone else and it has repeatedly led to instances of stealing votes. Uh, so, um, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great Muslim who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to you, sincere Akim out there, pushing the truth across the four corners of earth. All right, and as you can see, uh, hey, the house of Esau is, is more divided than ever, from the top to the bottom. And, you know, they, 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 uh, they, they, they're discussing all these different matters. You know, the one in this video, they're talking about uh, should a legal, a, a certain act which would give... Uh, what they call, you know, illegal aliens, the right to vote, which we know that they could easily flip that and, like he just said, use their operatives to uh, control the vote. All right, and this is a this is a uh, something pushed by the Democrats, which we know that they're into that type of thing. They they love to utilize Jake in order for them to get, you know, their agenda. Right, which they, they did that heavily in this uh, last election. All right. But the funny part is about all of this, at the end of the day, you're one house. All right. You're one house. I just wanted to jump into some scriptures. Because uh, the scriptures documents, one of the things the scriptures documents, um, it documents us into the different captivities uh, surrounding uh before Esau was uh, set up, you know, under the Greeks, under the Romans, you know, even before the Greeks, uh, uh, Daniel prophesied about um, the the, Gre the Greco, the Greek Empire, the Roman Empire. Uh, he, he prophesied all these different things, and then of course we had Alexander the Great, who knew that he was in the in the Holy Scriptures. Uh, he showed respect. Uh, but then later on, once his empire was divided up. Then, uh, you know, the Israelites, of course, we were on the menu, too, because they wanted to, his, his different generals, they wanted to take over everything. And that's what we dealt with uh, Antiochus, all right, in his house. And he was going to war with Ptolemy and the different other um, uh, 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 generals, you know, they were, they were fighting over territory and land, all right. And the scriptures documents all these different things, all right, especially, you know, it's, it's documented in the Apocrypha. Especially, which is why they took out the Apocrypha. All right? And then there's so much history in there which lines up with history when you look it up. All right? And then, of course, we have the, uh, the account of the Romans, which when you open the New Testament, you know, the Romans just pop up. You know, so you would think. But no, the Israelites have been dealing with uh, the house of Esau through the Greeks, and then the Romans come. This is First Maccabees 8 and 1. Because it gives an account of us first dealing with them. All right, and this is this is what happens in both instances, man. We first deal with Esau. You know, they, they use us for whatever agenda that they have. And then once things get bad, then, you know, there, there is no more fair play. Right, and that's exactly what he does. He, he does to this day. All right, he uses you. 
He used these dumbass jakes. If you know, even if 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 the election was even legit, you know that's in question. But he used these dumbass jakes to get in the office, and now he's gonna fuck you over. Uh, with no with no Lou. This is First Maccabees eight. And it says now Judas had heard of the Romans that they was mighty and valiant men, and such as would lovingly accept all that joined themselves unto them, and make a league of amity with all that came unto them. And that they were great, and they were men of great valor. It was told him also of their wars and noble acts which they had done among the Galatians, and how they had conquered them and brought them under tribute, and what they had done in the country of Spain for the winning of the mines of the silver and gold which is there, and that by their policy and patience they had conquered all the place, though it were very far from them, and the kings also that came against them from the uttermost part of the earth, so like you, you know, got a plane flying over. From the uttermost part of the earth till they discomfited them and given them a great overthrow so that the rest did give them tribute every year. Uh, and that's what the Romans were about. They wanted their tribute. Uh, like like it was said, uh, pay Caesar, that would render Caesar that which is his, okay? Render him his due. I was still at the, all they wanted was the money. But then at a certain point, when the word was spread, you know, they started to kick us out, man. That's why you see Paul uh, leave, and then um, he, had to, he had to go, and that's when he, you know, meets uh, Anias and Sapphira, uh, because they were, they were kicking us out, man. They, the, 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 money, they, the money wasn't important anymore. All right? They couldn't control you know what I'm saying? That after after the Lord was crucified, they couldn't control, uh, they couldn't put a cap on uh, the doctrine, which, like it says, we were first called Christians in Antioch. They couldn't put a cap on the doctrine. They couldn't put a cap on control. You know, they had tried to, uh, 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 you know, kill, you know, the, the, the king of the Jews to try to stop us and, and destroy us as a nation, but that backfired, all right? And then, you know, the, the, uh, the, the dirty ass uh, damn what's it called um, well the the uh, the, uh, so, the 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 so called Jew Judites the so called Jews well, let me say Jews not just Judites Judah Benjamin and Levi was there but the ones that the Lord had dealt with they they they, they were they were it was seen as off all right and everybody knew how you know the Lord was was slain innocently. You know what I'm saying? And that's why so many people were willing to follow uh, after uh, the different disciples and Paul and, because they knew the works that the Lord had did. Right? They knew Yah the works that Yahweh Shai had did and his men. All right? And, and, and uh, all of this was coordinated by the Heavenly Father. All right? But jumping back, right? because this is when uh, the Maccabees had contacted Rome, they were trying to make a treaty with them. Right, and then it talks about, um, the, the, which they're doing the same thing now. I'm going to jump down and get right to it. All right, verse 9, it said, Moreover, how the Grecians had determined to come and destroy them, and that they, having knowledge thereof, thereof sent against them a certain captain, and fighting with them, slew many of them, and carried away captives, their wives and their children, and spoiled them and took possession of their lands and pulled down their strongholds and brought them to be their servants unto this day. I was told that him, him besides how they destroyed and brought under their dominion all other kingdoms and isles at any time resisted them. But with their friends and such as relied upon them, they kept amity and that they had conquered kingdoms both far and nigh insomuch as all that heard of their name were afraid of them. Also that whom they would help to a kingdom whose reign, th those reign, and whom again they would, they displace. Finally, that they were greatly exalted. Yet for all this, none of them wore a crown or was clothed in purple to be magnified there thereby. Yeah, there was no, there was no king of Rome. Right? They were, they were stuck in that, they were doing that democracy thing. And then, of course, you had the, the different uh, Caesars. All right, it said, moreover how they had made for themselves a senate house wherein 320 men, men sat even though you know uh 
Alexander was referred to as a king. Uh, his four generals were, refer, I believe, were referred to as kings as well. You know, king being a leader. All right, but it says, yeah, moreover, how they had made for themselves a senate house, wherein three hundred and twenty men sat in council, daily consulting away for the people to the end they might be well ordered. And to this day, they have uh, was it a hundred people in Congress, hundred elected officials, I believe, and then. I believe it's 425 in the House of Representatives. All right. So, it, it, you know, it's a uh, Salaki. It's, uh, it's, 400, it's 435 in the House of Representatives and 100 in the Senate. All right. So here it was, uh, I say it was 320 men in the, in the uh, Senate House. Today it's just 100. You know, it's supposed to be two from every every state. And that's what this meeting is right here. This is a Senate uh, ruling, you know, committee that they're talking amongst each other. And uh, check out what he's going to say, man. Talking about uh, the new bill is going to basically be Jim Crow 2.0. What does this bill do? It strikes down all 31 states' restrictions on ballot harvesting. This bill turns the... Yeah, and that's the corruption that comes with, with democracy. Okay, people change, can change a vote, they can change a number around, they can take a piece of paper, all right, which uh, that, that happened before in the uh, Bush-Gore race, <laughs> those, those uh, discounted votes. Democracy doesn't work, that's the point. It doesn't work, and we're seeing why. All right, when everything was good, when everything was solid, you know what I'm saying, there was, there was peace in Esau's house. There was, there was peace, you know. They might have had some some a uh, little bit of contention back and forth because Esau's always been divided, but there was peace. All right, now, as you can see, it's there is no peace, man. These Edomites are, are, are more divided every year. Every year, more personal beef and, and stuff comes out between them. Federal Election Commission from a bipartisan agency into a partisan agency. Into a partisan agency controlled by Democrats. Why? We didn't do this. We didn't try to change the election rules so that Democrats could never be elected. We didn't engage in the corruption to say, we're going to rig the game. So if the voters decide to throw the bums out, the voters don't get the right to do that because we're going to put our thumb on the scale so that only our party wins. Yep. To my knowledge, not a single Republican suggested doing that. Remember, this is Psalm 73 and 80. It said, They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. Oppression, they speak loftily. All right, the only reason that they even associated or was trying to make a deal with the Maccabees is because they wanted those, uh, those Greek territories. All right? Eventually, Greece you know, subsides and Rome takes over. All right, but, still, but it's still the same house. People, all people, people mistake that all the Greeks, the Romans, those are two different people. That's the same house. It's the same nation. All right, it's the same bloodline. It's the same. I right? just like the U.S. and Canada. It's Esau. All right, one, 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 one house, uh, one, one nation has power. The other one, you know, has a Canada has a little bit of power, but it's nowhere on the level of uh, America. All right, and that's what they forget, man. That's what these Edomites have have forgotten. Which the scriptures expose that, right? So hey, it's just just a quick quick uh, hit on the history. Hey, the scriptures always on point, man. It's every time that you know you watch these politicians, you watch politics, you watch anything, you can filter it through the scriptures, and, and uh, you can go back and see what Esau did in the past, or even you know what uh, Jake did in the past, because these Esau, these Edomites, they they uh, study us, right? They're, when they have pastors, when they have that kind of stuff, they study us. Uh, they study the things that we've did in the past, and then they use that for their own gain. And they've always done that, man, whether it be uh, through a movie, through uh, politics, okay, through stocks, through bonds, whatever be the case. All right. And Lord willing, it's edifying all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim El Shai Bashim Kagadash. Shalom. Matter of fact,
Let's read a little more though. In Psalm 73 and 9, it said, They set their mouth against the heavens, and their tongue walketh through the earth. Therefore, his people return hither, and waters are of a full cup are wrung out to them. And they say, How doth the Most High know? And is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world, they increase in riches. Verily I have cleansed my heart in vain, and washed my hands in innocency. For all the day long have I been plagued and chastened every morning. If I say I will speak thus, behold, I should offend against the generation of thy children. All right? And the point being, man, this is the time this is this is the this is the time of the wicked. Alright? This is the time of the wicked, man. This is, the, this is the time of the ungodly. Behold, these are the ungodly. Right? All of the things that are ungodly, they fulfill. A Baba Ball, should have won.